Okay. Hello, everybody. So today we're going to take a look at wind energy. So in your Edmodo, go to the post that says wind energy. We have a link for the reading. We have my email where you can send your assignments. And we have the practice questions. So let's take a look at wind energy. So um, you probably remember from earlier lessons that um, the sun actually helps create the wind because it's going to warm up certain locations more than others and warm air is going to rise and that's going to leave a void so then cool air is going to rush in to fill that void okay we call this motion convection so um, wind power uses the wind as a source of energy so some types of wind power have been around for a long time um, windmills have been around for a long time sailing ships have been around for a long time um, and now we're using it to generate electricity so wind can make a turbine spin and um, the turbine spinning is going to create electricity so wind power has some advantages and some disadvantages and again um, we're not necessarily looking at the big picture here because you need to mine all the materials, you need to maintain the turbines, and you need to transport them and dispose of them and put them on land. So we're not looking at every single aspect of these wind turbines. So um, for its advantages, it doesn't release any pollutants or greenhouse gases. Uh, wind is very abundant and we have um, pretty quickly rapid, yeah, pretty quickly developing technology. Um, wind power is also going to have some problems. So wind isn't going to blow all the time. So we need to store it or we need to have some backup energy source to be available. And this is kind of like with the solar panels when it's not sunny out. Yeah, you, you have to keep turning on and off the generator, which ends up being very expensive. Um, wind turbines are expensive. Um, they can wear out quickly. And people don't always want these big old wind turbines um, on their land or close to their land. All right. Um, so a little bit more about this is uh, there are some wind turbines that are reaching the end of their lifespan and they're having trouble disposing of them because they're just gigantic. So they're cutting them up and burying them in fields now, um, but they're going to have to find something a little more sustainable. Um, I've also heard of wind turbines being set up in mountain passes, but I believe they got into trouble because there were birds that were flying through those mountain passes that would get chopped up by the blades. So again, um, pros and cons, but hopefully that all makes sense. Make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.